Hi, my name is Seti and welcome back to another Tips and Tricks with Apps Events and Acer. In today's video, we are going to jump into Google Sheets and I'm going to show you how you can protect ranges and entire sheets from being changed by others. Let's jump into it. Now here I'm in my Google Sheet and I have some sample data. Now this can be shared with others and they can go in and make changes. Now I don't want everything in my spreadsheet to be editable. And so I'm going to protect a range. Here I can select what I would like to protect first. I want to protect this table right here, which talks about people's favorite animals. Now that I've selected this range, I can protect it. So at the top, I'm going to select data and then I click on protect sheet and ranges. Now, because I've selected my table first, automatically you can see range is selected and it's selected the correct sheet and the correct range. If you wanted to protect the entire sheet, you would select sheet instead, and then you can have some exceptions. You can say accept a number of cells. Well, I'm going to go and stick to that range and I'm going to set permissions. Now these permissions will restrict who can edit this range. For this file, I'm going to say I want to restrict it to who can edit this range, only you. Now you can also change that. You can have a custom permission there, similar to the sharing settings, but this permission can be different from your sharing settings. So someone can have editing rights to your file, but they do not have editing rights to this range. So let's see this in action. I'm going to select only me and click on done. Changes have been saved. This table can only be changed by myself. Now let's go ahead and share this file with another demo account and see if they can change it. Our demo account is now in that same sheet. Let's just add in some information. I'm going to add some text here. Hello, I am an editor. Okay, so as you can see, I can edit this file. And when I go back to the original, those changes can be seen here. However, let's try and change some words in that protected range. We're going to change the word cat into tiger. So let's go ahead and select cat and make it tiger. And you see, as soon as I start typing, it says there is a problem. You are trying to edit a protected cell or object. Please contact the owner to remove the protection. And this will automatically happen whenever you try to change those values. Let's go down, let's try and change another value. Let's say I want to change this into 12. Immediately I get that warning. Okay, let's say that I do want them to be able to edit this range. Well, I can go back to the original file and I can change the protection. Say that you have a file shared with five teachers and one other teacher needs to be able to change the data. All the other teachers need to be able to change the rest of that spreadsheet, but not that range. Well, you can do that as well. Let's click on change permissions and let's have a custom permission. We're going to click on custom and we're going to give this demo account full editing rights for that range. We're going to click on done. Changes have been saved. And now when he tries to edit that range, you will see he is able to easily edit that range. No warning, no problems. And I hope you found this helpful. This was another Tips and Tricks with Apps Events and Acer. In the meantime, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.